Well, warmer today than yesterday, but hey, much warmer tomorrow. Bob is here with more in the weather control forecast. Summer-like, I would say, tomorrow. Summer-like. So Summer you have to take out the shorts and the t-shirts. You bet. Yeah. Let's get right to it. Here's the good news. We're looking at, well, we had a chilly morning, but uh, we're going to warm up rapidly today. And uh, tomorrow will be a little on the cool side again in the morning, but uh, during the day, we're going to have a whole bunch of sunshine and temperatures will really warm up during the day. Some showers possible to the north on Wednesday. Here's a live look outside. Beautiful blue sky. At best, we might see some of those high, thin cirrus clouds, but generally, we're going to be pretty cloud free for the next 48 hours. 52 degrees right now. Winds are calm. And here's some other temperatures across our region. We've warmed up quite a bit. Some locations here in the valley got close to the freezing mark. Ended up in uh, the mid 30s or so, but we've warmed up nicely into the 50s. Most locations McCall is at 46 and even Stanley has warmed up to 43 degrees. Here's what we're looking at for a high for today, right around 68 degrees, about seven degrees warmer than yesterday and two degrees above normal. The overnight low looking at 44. There is some wild weather taking place across the southeast this morning. We saw a line of thunderstorms move through Dallas and San Antonio and Austin. Some wind damage there. Now the strongest thunderstorms have moved through Lake Charles, moving further to the east, and they have some watches and warnings in effect. We had a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Looks like that has been continued to uh, move to the east. And we also had at times a tornado warning, still a flash flood watch in effect for a good portion of the southeast around uh, New Orleans and the Lake Charles area. Out here in the Pacific Northwest, we have a few showers around Seattle, but generally clear skies. Here's our future cast as we move through the time steps. Not a whole lot of changes over the next 48 hours. Pretty cloud free across the gem state, but on Wednesday, a weak disturbance moves by to the north. And that will inject a little bit of moisture into the atmosphere. We could see some spotty showers, but I can tell the computer model has even backed off on those showers for the mountains. And here in the valley, we're looking at a whole bunch of blue sky. At times, we might have a, just a smattering of clouds move on through. Then a little bit more cloud cover the possibility of some showers for mainly our north central mountains. Uh, Wednesday afternoon into the early evening hours. Just a little bit of cloud cover for us and temperatures a little bit cooler. Today will be a warm day though. We'll be topping out in the upper 60s, most locations around the Boise area. For tomorrow morning, overnight lows dipping down into the 40s and 50s. And then tomorrow we'll see the real warming. In fact, some orange showing up on the map for the first time. That denotes some 80 degree readings here in the valley. Then the warmer temperatures move off to the east uh, for Wednesday. As far as rainfall, not a whole lot. And this is again rainfall on Wednesday and most of our mountains will be getting some hit and miss light showers, but we should stay dry around the Boise area with the, maybe just a smattering of clouds at times. But that's about it. Sunny skies, Twin Falls High about 66 for today for Sun Valley, sunny and warmer with a high near 62 and for McCall, you're looking for a high near 64 degrees. Meanwhile, here in the valley, we're looking at highs in the upper 60s all locations. 80 degrees on Tuesday. That will be our warmest day. Then that weak disturbance moves by to the north for Wednesday. Temperatures remain above normal as we head into the weekend. Rick.